Hussain and welcome to project 22 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this fade out button right here so the main focus of this project will be on this button so if you just scroll down a bit so here you can see this button will be disappear and if you scroll above so here you can see this button will be come again and if you just scroll down so it will be disappear right here okay so this is what we are going to be building in this video so now let's jump right into our coder and write our code let's give a name of like code 22 fade and then out btn would be found fair out I'll, I'll just give him that name and then let me create three files in it so the first one will be index.html and the second one will be style.css and the third one will be um app.js i guess i messed up okay so it shouldn't have to be just a cs it should have to be css all right now let me zoom in a bit here i'm gonna just write like doc type and then fade out yeah fade out would be fine and then link it with css and also uh link it with javascript as well so then right click on it and open it with a live server good all right so now let me just hide this metadata from here and then upper bar as well zoom in a bit all right so the first thing which you have to do is we have to just create a div with the class of container inside this container we will have h1 and i'll just write like arrow fade out on scroll Okay, and then I'll just write a paragraph with the class of sub headings and then just write a lorem and that's going to be end. And finally, we have to just write our arrow. So I'll just give a class of arrow and also the ID of arrow. Okay, so save our file and now we are good to go. So now let's jump right into a styling and now let's style it a bit. So the first thing I would do is I'll just put a research like box sizing will be border box, margin will be zero padding will be also zero and that's going to be there then we have to select our html and also body and now let's give a width of 100 percent and height of 200 vh and background color will be just totally black like so so now we have this kind of like ui right here so the next thing which you have to do is to select this container so now let me just select this container so now let me just select this container inside this container i'll just write like display of flex flex direction will be colon color will be totally white justify contour will be center align items will be also center okay so save our file everything is now at the center but this is looking a bit ugly so now let's format there so now i'm going to just select these subheadings from this html in a css so now select these subheadings so max width will be just like 700 pixel you can choose whichever kind of width you like and then i'm going to just write text line of center save it and now let's check it so this is how it looks like so now let me just provide a little bit of margin to it like 20 pixel will be fine and then font family i'm going to choose is like sans serif and you can choose whichever font you like and then line height will be just 30 pixel save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so then let's select this h1 right here so now i'm going to just select that just write h1 of margin top will be just 50 pixel and then color will be totally white and then text align will be center and then font size will be 4 rem and then margin bottom will be just 6 rem okay so save our file and this is how it looks like right now okay all right so now let's style our arrow right now so i'm just copy this arrow and i'm gonna select this arrow right now and inside this arrow i'm gonna just write width of 45 uh, pixel and height will be also 45 pixel and then i'll just write a border of two pixels solid and totally white and then border radius will be just 50 50 percent and position will be absolute and then bottom will be 30 pixel then margin will be totally auto so i'll just write the margin auto to it and then transition will be is and in and then animation uh we don't have any animation right now but we will just create in a second so i'll just say right now so now we can see our circle right here but we cannot see that down arrow so now let's just build that down arrow so for that we can just uh select our arrow and then we will just add like before selector to it and content will be just empty content no nothing whatsoever and then position will be absolute top will be 11 pixel and then left will be just left will be 13 pixel and then width will be 12 pixel and height will be also 12 pixel 
okay and border left border left will be just um two pixel solid fa fa and finally fa so let me duplicate this one and instead of left i'll just write bottom and then transform of rotate minus not transform origin but just transform come on transform of rotation will be just minus 45 degree save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so whenever we scroll down so we want this arrow and this to be disappeared so for that we can just write a bounce effect so i'll just write an animation of keyframe and bounce okay and here i'll just provide like from zero it will take the transform translate of zero okay and then now let's duplicate it three times so it will be now 20 pixel not 20 pixel but uh 20 percent and then and then 40 percent okay and now let's change this to like 15 pixel and it should be also a y axis okay and this one will be just zero and uh, duplicate one more time and then we are going to be writing that for add um webcat dash keyframes okay so now let me move there so once we save it and it will not show up right now because we don't use this animation right now so like we have to use this animation we are going to be using two classes like fade in and now let's style that like opacity will be one and transition take one second for all of the thing and ease in okay and then we have um fade out class so i'll just write fade out and then the opacity will be zero so it will hide it and one second is out okay so now that we create our animation and transition so now let's use it right here not here but just um here okay so i'll just write the animation animation name will be bounce and then 1.5 second it will take an infinite okay so once we save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so it will just infinitely um down to the bottom right now and it will do its thing all right so now let's jump right into the styling uh i mean like, let's jump right into the functionality uh to the javascript so now let's grab this arrow where are you so now let's grab this arrow so first of all you just write like let arrow it will be now equals to document dot get element by id and now we just have to port that arrow so now let's attach a scroll event listener on a window so i'll just write an add event listener of scroll so whenever we scroll so we want to fire this function Okay, so let position will be just equal to um, window dot scroll uh, y, and I already show you like the inside of window we have access to this scroll y. Okay, so now if you log that to a console like position, let me show you that one more time. Position, save it, and now let's check it. Okay, so if I just open my uh, developer tools and if i just refresh it one more time and now if i scroll so here you can see it will now gives us these accordions right here okay so now let's control there so for that we can just uh i'll just comment out this for now all right if position is less than or equal to five so then you want this to happen like arrow uh, class list dot toggle so you want to just um toggle this class like fade in and then duplicate it fade out okay so once we save our file all right so now if you refresh it and if i scroll down so let me just scroll down so here you can see that's going to be hide right now okay so we cannot see it anymore and if we scroll up so here you can see we can now see this uh animation right here uh, i mean like this uh arrow right here so if you scroll down here you can see it will disappear and it will show up again all right so that was it about this project so now if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you already know git and github and want to push your code into your github repository so then let me just do that <laughs> if you want to watch that so you can watch it and if you want to leave so you can also leave all right so now i'm gonna just push my code to my github repository so that everybody will have access to it so i'm gonna just use like get status and now we have o22 so git add everything so it will now add it get commit dash m and then i'll just write like fade um i don't know fade in slash out uh project and then if i hit enter it will now edit get push origin main and if i hit enter and now it will push our code into our github repository
and there we go so now if you refresh our browser so here you can see inside this o22 we have this code available right here so this is app.js and here you can see the code and this is our index.html code and the other one is our index not index but standard css code all right so i think that was about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.